Hello Leo, this is Deja Vu Tarot and I am back with another collective reading. Once again, this is a collection of energies guys, so take what resonates, leave the rest. Okay, and also, if you want something personal, feel free to book, click on all the links below. There you'll find a link to my website. I also am doing questions. Two questions for 25. You can send me an email uh, with, with your questions. Cash at me. And I will do a reading based on the questions. Look what came out. True love. Somebody told the truth. Yes, your emperor. So this is going to be a nice reading. Yeah, they know it's destiny. And they taking action. So these are cards that's good. Good cards. Yeah. It's your emperor. He coming. Somebody mad about it, though. They don't like it. Sound like a personal problem to me. Alright, so let's get started. That was just a quick message. So, for Leo, I pulled some guidance cards. So the first one was happy ending. So definitely someone wants to have a happy, happy ending with you, Leo. You are going to have a happy ending. With the, with the yellow car here, your vibration is definitely on 1,000, okay? Nice, bright vibration here. You've been loving on yourself, giving yourself unconditional love. Spirits say, you're going to have a happy ending, so no worries. Rebirth. So, yeah, somebody definitely coming back. It's a reconciliation. I feel like this is a rebirth on you as well, you know, finding yourself. Finding your higher self, rebirthing that old you and coming into the new you. Also, reconciliation, because somebody is coming back. Okay, be looking out for that one. And this could be you, Leo, because it is a fire sign. And then also, we got new beginnings. So, yeah, Ace of Wands with the Ace of Wands. Kind of like the Ace of Wands in this deck, right? So it will be some new beginnings. This person is, this emperor is very passionate about his true love. He knows who his twin flame soulmate is, the person he wants to be with. So yes, Leo, you will be having new beginnings. Okay. Then I pull some more oracle cards. So we have heartbroken. So yeah, they is heartbroken and sad. They said that they broke your heart, Leo. I feel like your person is now heartbroken because y'all separated here and he's like grieving you. He or she, guys. So it's energy. So take what resonates. But the relationship is evolving to the next phase, Spirit is saying. It's going to evolve. Okay? So you could be sad right now, Leo, but you're going to have new beginnings. Okay? Because this person is releasing that self-esteem. 313 as I said that. Look up that angel number. And also, you are releasing your self-esteem, low self-esteem. You're vibrating high, and you're loving on yourself. You're finding that self-love. Now, this could be your divine masculine, too. He is trying to find his self-love, his passion for himself, and he wants to give you love as well. He wants to bring that love into you, Leo, you or your person. Because we got the Ace of Wands now. I can't make it up. So, New Beginnings is happening with you okay it's coming up what's this heartbroken though let's just make sure okay so yeah they healing with the four swords yes this person is healing from a heartbreak so it could have been with a third party he didn't love himself enough at the time but it is involving now he's healing he's he trying to heal from that after a tower moment could it be yeah it could be aquarius libra gemini or I feel like you found your intelligence. Yeah, they cut the devil off here. Yeah, they ended a cycle with a devil, a toxic relationship, narcissistic person, sex addictions. And so he's trying to heal from that. He knows better now. He's the king of swords. King of swords is someone that is mentally mature now. Okay, yeah. You know, some people is mad because they see you on the platform, Leo. Well, I feel like it's, yeah, it's justice. Somebody is nervous because they're going to court. Maybe your divine masculine could be having some legal situations with a baby mom here. 
Because the empress don't necessarily mean a soulmate. It just could mean someone is pregnant. And he's trying to heal from his wounds. He could be watching you on the platform here. Pull this up a little. Okay. So he's healing. Okay. He could be hiding his emotions here. But I feel like he's healing because he hurt the empress or this baby mother hurt him. By taking him to court. She feel like it's her right to keep him in a nine of swords energy. She could be doing some black magic here. Yeah, because she, this person knows that this person want to come to the Empress. So, they're taking this person to court and stressing this person out. This person is kind of stressed out. What is this? This could be law legal issues, too. What's this justice? Okay. So the emperor want to bring you justice. Yeah, emperor and empress on the board. So this is definitely a soulmate match. So that is balancing out, basically. Spirit is saying a twin flame soulmate or mother, father, you know, male, female. This is definitely a couple. Okay? They could be going to court. For some of you, I feel like you just want to bring this your empress justice here. You want to tell the truth. With the sword of truth in your hand. You know she's in her queen of swords energy. You're waiting on your ships to come in here. You want to rejoin your empress. But you're a little confused. You could think she has options here. So you're having negative self-talk in your head. Oh, she got options. She don't want me. You know, that type of talk. So that's what's keeping you stuck. You could still be having options. Your third party here. The emperor could be still messing around with options. Some type of third party. Yeah, sexually. Ace of Swords. Eight of Cups. So I feel like for some of you, this is a third party. They want to keep your masculine stuck in his sexual energy here. And it looks like he's going to walk away. He still walked away from this person. And now this person is in their head because they know they're going to come with some justice. Also, I feel like someone is nervous that they, they have some legal issues coming up. Could be over some money or a wife or some type of divorce. And they actually want to heal things with this person from the past. But um, she's going, she's walking away here. They start, someone is starting a new path here and the other person don't like it. That's what the energy I'm picking up is like. One person want to go ahead and start a new passion, do things right. And then you have this energy who's confused and stuck mentally. What's this Eight of Swords? Four Pentacles. So they holding back from the options? It could be having... Let's see. Let's see what this is. Eight of Wands. So yeah, they want to communicate, but they holding back from communication here. Because they don't know what to say. They trapped in their mind. They feel like if they communicate, they just negative self-talk. Keeping that person stuck from, they just keeping themselves stuck. Because the Ada source is like a self-imposed prison. You're literally just keeping yourself stuck. Mental thoughts. Keeping himself stuck from moving forward. Now, this could be the third party because it's, it's options on the board. So the options could not have money. And then keeping your masculine stuck from moving forward here. Got him just waiting. Right? Yeah, for money. Okay. Others of you, this person is trying to work on some type of commitment they want to give to you here with the lovers. They definitely is working on that. But maybe they just feel stuck right now because they don't have no money. Okay. Let's hear the silence. That must be true. So, yeah, he's wounded. He's still kind of healing from a heartbreak. And they don't have much money. So, right now, they are just working. Yeah, they trying to just see what they can do at this point, you know. But it will be a rebirth. We got rebirth, new beginnings. We got the Ace of Wands. So, that's definitely a new beginning. So, this person will have a new beginning. The Ace of Wands, the same Ace of Wands as in this. He's holding it, so... He definitely want a new beginning here. What's this for swords? 
Somebody with six spirit. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, he's trying to balance himself out with the Six of Pentacles. He want an ego give and take. He had an ending in a family with this past person here. He was fighting with a lot in a toxic, very toxic marriage or relationship. A lot of secrets. And he called judgment on this. Or they, the family is under judgment as well because they was trying to do stuff in secret here with the Hermit card. He could be under judgment because he was investing in the wrong things here. But he put it into a commitment. So now he's healing. He could be, and Hermit is also, you know, you like soul searching, trying to find out what's going on with you. What's this judgment spirit? Watching. So they on the judgment. They're just watching here. Being immature spirit say they on the judgment for being immature. They could be watching you, Leo. Sitting back watching you. Being immature. Three pages. Page of swords, page of cups, and page of wands. That's a fool spirit saying. So you block them. Oh, seven of wands in reverse. So they're not even trying to be defensive. Okay, they don't want to fight no more. They know they was a sneaky mind, you know what. But they do want the relationship. What's the seven of swords? Tower. Yeah. Yeah, it seemed like that one. Yeah, tower, seven of swords, in reverse. Okay, Wheel of Fortune. What goes around comes around. So they having bad karma, karma from lying and being sneaky. Yeah, playing with that magic. It backfired. Now they regret it. Because they stuck. They bound it in the situation they in. With a queen of wands. Could be a narcissist who's doing the magic here. This queen of wands. Keeping your person stuck. Having this person give his cup and wands to everybody else. Keeping them burdened, bounded. Okay. And they want to invest in you in this twin flame journey. But they sexual. They got sex addictions. They need to heal that. Yeah, they need to put it to an end. And make that decision. To be happy and tell the truth, spirit say. And move forward. Quickly. With the sword of truth in your hand, though. About this lover's connection. But instead, they're delaying it and juggling and holding back their feelings. <sighs> you know, and study getting betrayed. Why third party masculine here? Karma can study betraying them in a commitment. So they just sitting there. Still under a little spell. And the most of the party is not spell. Okay, spirit say it's bad karma. Okay, that tower on their head. That's why they're sitting there. Because I was about to say, most of the times it's not spells. It's just because they're scared. Or they haven't healed because we got heartbroken. So they're still heartbroken. And so they need to heal before they come with to you. I always say, before y'all can have a new beginning, this person got to heal. So that's what's going on. They got to heal. Okay. But you are going to have new beginnings, Leo. Okay, let's get another deck out here. Let's just see what else we come, we get we come around. All right, Holy Spirit, can you give us some more messages for new beginnings, rebirth, happy ending for Leo as a collective? Constancy could be court. I'm not gonna say somebody could be going to jail. Very heartbroken about that. But I feel like when they go to jail, that's when they gonna have their awakening and they gonna heal themselves. For some of you, but they could just be heartbroken because some of them heartbroken because they about to die. I have to say, others of you, they heartbroken because they were getting rooms, having sex with a lot of people, and they wouldn't, they didn't have no self esteem. Uh oh. And they thought the magic was going to work. His wife. Okay, so the wife is the one heartbroken. Because she's going to court. And a friend of hers. 
They thought the magic was going to work up in these rooms with these pleasure seekers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This wife and these pleasure seekers, see, they going to court. They heartbroken. So they the one really heartbroken because the masculine, yeah, Lord. That's the authorities. Authorities is out here. Wedding. What's with this wedding spirit? Baby in reverse. Uh oh, somebody child wasn't there. It's doctor at the bottom of the deck. Somebody either lost a child or maybe the child wasn't there. She thought she was going to get some type of money. She was happy about it. Yeah, because she was a thief, Spirit saying. Trying to steal from this old woman here for some of you. Could have been an old lady they was trying to steal some money from. Trying to act like they love the person. But they was fake, Spirit saying. Gossiping, talking trash. What's with this child in reverse? Somebody going on their journey. Yeah, and they sad because they going on their journey. She didn't have, she wasn't pregnant. She wasn't pregnant. We've been saying this. What's this child in reverse? Despair, house, joyfulness. It came out almost in prison. Yeah. She's sad because she about to go to jail. They about to take this house. What's the doctor? And she's sick. Surprise lover. The third party masculine they could have been messing with here that wanted some money. Maybe all three of them. It could have been a masculine and two women. They ain't happy no more, spirits say. They going to jail. With, a, with another young chick. A foe. Yeah, it was a foe in the mix. Somebody talk to the police. A false person here. False old woman. Maybe it was an old woman that, that she was trying to take some money from here. And a friend, she thought it was her friend, but it was an actual foe that told on the police. Told on her to the police, and yeah. About some surprise lover here. And also, somebody's playing like, because the old woman talks about being wise. Somebody could be faking like they're wise here. Acting like they're going to get some money. But they sad because somebody talked to the police about the secrets here. They went and got some help. It was fake help. So maybe they was getting tarot readings or something. All right, back. Yeah, so somebody said they going to prison here. It could have been a house. Maybe they tried to steal some in the house and the court find out. Now they're in despair. Others of you was an old lady in the house, and and she played like she cared for this person. She could have been a caretaker with the doctor here. Ooh, I can't pick this up. My you know, she acted like she was a friend to help a person out. Come to find out she was actually false. A fake ass foe. Okay, thought she was going to get some money. She could have told the lover she was going to get some money and was trying to take the old lady out. She was trying to rob this lady for some money. Somebody told on the... Yeah, somebody told here. And now she's sad. She's suicidal in this house. Be careful. Somebody might pop themselves in the house now. Because she knows she's going to jail. Yeah, she said. I can't make none of this up. She paid the enemy here. Could have paid somebody to do some spell work, to poison. However the vices is to kill somebody, child. She did. And now she said. Because her little fight, what she was trying to fight, it ain't work. It didn't work. It went back on her butt. And now she waiting to die. I can't make it up. She waiting to die. She knows she done put some death spells out there. Some other type of spells. She done served people drinks, poison. There go another service. She was over here serving some people. 
could be a tarot reader or did something for the community. Yeah, but it was it wasn't right. This old woman, for some reason, what's this old woman spirit? What's going on with this old woman? What's going on with this old woman? No money. So maybe she thought she was going to get some money, but she ain't getting none. She faking like she got money. Okay, so she was waiting on the old woman to die. Could have been a friend of hers or a friend was setting her up to to kill this old woman. But come to find out if they ain't getting no money, the old woman didn't have no money. Yeah, that's the message that they received. And also, Divine Feminine, you're going to get a message soon. But they got a message too. And the message is, you ain't getting no money. Ain't no riches for you. This, nuh uh. Mm -mm. Nope. And a child ain't yours. No. And you sick, Spirit Saint. Yeah, and you thought the room, you thought, you thought you can get somebody in the room. 2121, as I said that, these pleasure seekers. So you was putting black magic on them, getting them in the room, trying to rob them. And somebody told on you. Yeah. Somebody told on you, going online, getting black magic. Now you sad because you're going to prison. Because you was fake, faker than a fake fucker. Two dollar bill. Over here walking around acting like you got money. Waiting on somebody to die. Yeah, this friend. Spirit say it's, it's an ending to that shit. Alright, Leo. So that has been your messages. So you'll be looking out for some new beginnings. I feel like this is your masculine for sure. He walking away soon. You're going to have new beginnings. You're going to have a happy ending. Okay, others of you, these pleasure seekers are going to be sick. They're buck, they sad because your masculine is coming to be loyal to you. And this wife, she keep waiting to do what, spirit? Oh, she thought you died, but you didn't die. So now she's sad because she know the masculine is on his way. All right, so I hope these messages help. Once again, book a reading, guys, if y'all want something more personal. Take what resonates. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Hit that notification bell and just come back, guys. And also, I do have my website, guys. Go ahead and sign up the newsletters for offers, okay? I'm going to be offering different things pretty soon. Once I hit a 1,000 subscribers, I will be offering a lot of, uh, you know, new things to my channel. So, feel free to like, subscribe. Don't want to miss it. All right. Deja vu tarot. Peace.